uh, hello guys so uh, i'm very excited about this video because uh, this is the second example of tensorboard embedding visualization on tensorboard previous video we have seen uh, how to visualize the mnist dataset this video is different because here we are going to visualize the embeddings for our own data for our own features so that we can understand them better and use it for our problem set okay so this is how the embedding will look so let's go let's see what are the steps involved in it so obviously first you need to have data in my case i have used data of cats dogs horses and humans and then you need to have features of those datas and then we'll use those features to visualize them so uh, in cat category i have 100 samples so these are few samples of cat these are few samples of dog the horses and the humans or uh, actually they're the horse riders <laughs> So for each class, I have 100 samples. So it's a total of I'm taking 400 samples for this example. Okay. So once you have your data, you you use a feature extractor. You can use any neural network model. I'm using VGG16 to get those features. Then you can save those features in any format like .pkl, .csv, .txt. Then we'll generate embedding for those features, and then we'll use them to visualize it. So let's go to the code. And by the way, oh. Uh, it will look something like this at the end of this video when we plot our so that you will have this humans here the horses here and in between the horse and humans because they are both there so they lie in between those okay so forget about this let's go to the code and see uh, what we can do so first step is feature extraction and I'm using VGG16 for this. So this is very simple. This is or if you want to extract your features. If you already have your features, then you don't need this step. So first, you extract features. So this uh, I am loading the pre-trained weights. I'm defining a function to get the model here. Once I'm getting the model, then I'm defining a function to get the features. And the features, as you know, in VGG16 last layer is 4096 then i am reading my data here and i'm storing it in one image feature list so i'm reading data from all the four folders and this is the directory uh, cats dogs horses humans of data so let me change this directory as my home directory okay now so once you got this i'm converting them into an array and i'm converting them into a proper uh, shape of like uh, you know I will see it's it, the shape should be number of samples comma number of features and actually uh, I have a github uh, I have posted this on github also so I'll mention the link of this and I have very clearly mentioned everything here what the shapes and other other things you know how, how you can run the code and all so go and have a look at this okay so yeah so this is uh, the features you convert it into array you can read it on the github and then we save these features so i have already saved it here feature vector for 400 samples because when i run this script it will take time to generate those features since each features will be dimension 4096 so either you can save it in pickle file or text file i have done in text file so once you're ready with your features so now we this is the main code of generating your embeddings so if you have features already like not what i have generated your own features either from image features or maybe from radar signal or anything you you can use here so you have to import the necessary uh, tensorflow libraries or modules uh, like i have plotted uh, imported matplotlib pickle tensorflow and this is for visualizing the tensor board then we give the path of our directory a log directory where all our embedding logs will be saved so I've already created a directory of embedding logs and it is empty for now. Okay, so uh, let's run this. Okay, and we'll generate the embeddings now. Uh, okay, so and then I give the path of data because uh, you have to, in order to like plot not only the features along with features like this kind of images, you know, uh, in this you see, that these are the features along with the images showing which features correspond to which image. So in order to do that, we have to generate a sprite image, and for that uh, we need to read those read this image. Okay, and once you read this image, you have to like convert into kind of array format. Okay, so you can run this one. I'll read the images so it will 
say loading loaded the images of dataset cat dog sources okay so now we have the feature vector here and we load the feature vector so we can see my feature vector and it's loading it so you can see my feature vector is shapes 400 comma 4096 because i have 400 samples and each sample has a feature vector of 4096 number of images 400 size of 4096 okay great and okay so these are the number of samples okay and now now you have to define a feature variable a tensorflow variable uh, which you are going to plot so we are going to plot a feature vector which we have loaded so we'll define a tensorflow variable and we'll name it as features okay so we just uh, define a tensorflow feature variable then the labels right you have to give labels for your features so in my case i have uh, four classes each hundred samples so i have given uh, number of samples come out like 400 samples and I have given a class name of 0 1 2 3 okay so class number so this was number labels and you can also give the names so in my case it's cats dogs horses humans and in your case it may be anything so just give the name now we generate a metadata file okay so the metadata file will have information of which features belongs to which label okay so i have 100 samples i will use this block of code to generate my metadata file and you can see it's it has come in my embedding logs metadata four classes or tsv and in this i am uh, keeping both the name as well as the number so class level will have one two three four and class name will have uh, cats dogs horses and human you can see this later so this is about generating your metadata file for giving your labels like this so this is yeah, you will have like this labels humans or uh, horses cats dogs but if you want the images you know then you have to generate a sprite image here so that's here how to there's a block of code to generate a sprite image so you we run this code uh, uh, yeah we run this code and then we call this uh, and give path for our sprite image name is sprite4.png so, yeah so my sprite image here is generated and it will look something like this so all the images of all the classes will be mapped here okay yeah and one thing here yeah the, sh the size which i gave here okay maybe here yeah so this size you can you can give actually anything depending on how clearly you want to visualize the images on the tensor board, right? this doesn't matter yeah but this this size will vary if this is bigger then this size of png file will be larger if this smaller size of png file will be smaller okay great now we are done with uh, generating our sprite images generating our metadata class now it's time to generate the logs for those features along with the labels and the images which we have generated just now so we'll generate we'll start a tensorflow session and we'll save those features features variable which we defined here and we'll uh, what's this code we'll run this session and it will be saved in images for class of ckpt then we'll configure the embeddings projectors and blah blah and in this uh, we give image data which we generated the shape of each image uh, like row this is a column this is a row and then finally we write in using a summary writer so let me run this so you can see all this got generated so all now your embeddings are ready and now what we have to do is we have to run them so i am already running uh, i'm already running a tensor board so let me close this and let me run here Control C. So, so here uh, we give the path of our embedding logs. So our path is here. Uh, here we have saved all the embedding logs. It's uh, here in this one. Okay. So this is my path. Ten of TensorFlow. Ah. So I have named a directory as dot py. Great. <laughs> that's that's interesting. <laughs> so okay, forget it. Let's see. Uh, so we have given the path here and given the port and let's run it and let's see 
that's okay so the tensor board started on port 6006 and as i have mentioned in the previous video we can see this in our local host column 006 so let's go to the embeddings and it's generating great awesome so let's see how our features so, so you can see that so these are the uh, features uh, which are displayed using a pca so you can see these are the humans these are the dogs these are the horses these are the cats they have kind of cluttered in one group so if you if you have uh, if you know what pca like it uh, it tries to kind of give you kind of a uh, global you know a clustering among different classes and if you want a proper like uh, local clustering among different classes then uh, we have to go for tsne so but but that's great that uh, our features is plotted here and you can see humans here and well there are other features like uh, instead of seeing the figures you can just see the names you can see the figures here and then you can select this and you can see these are humans and all okay so and you can even isolate those points those 14 points which you have selected and you can see the distance between this uh, among these 14 features right and then there are yeah so as i told you when we are generating the metadata file you can search them by name or by class so if i search by name like uh, suppose let me go here suppose let me search by horses so you can see all the horses here displaying the cluttered here and if i can search by class name also so instead of horses let me class 2 so class 2 is dogs and all the dogs have shown here class 3 is horses you can see class 4 were humans and obviously you can search by name okay so that's this uh, that's the use of this code which we used to generate the metadata file where is it now yeah so the name as well as the number okay forget it uh, now now let's let's concentrate here and then you can go for tsne so for this i was training and i found something around 28 to 30 and this one around one to be a good one oh still it's clustering with this also cats dogs okay let me stop and rerun okay so wow wow so so you see that that's interesting it's clustering for a while and uh, meanwhile uh, i'll give the link to the github and in the github i have i have given all the codes the models which we can use it obviously the weight is not here but there is a link where you can download the weights and then if you want to run the embeddings which i have given then you have to go in this checkpoint and you have to edit this name of the uh, embedding log spot you know because it will try to take it from this location so you have to change this name in your projector config.bptxt and in this checkpoint okay so these are the files which embedding files which will be generated uh, let it open okay yeah so in the bptxt and the checkpoint you have to change the location of the embedding logs you know so i am using keras 1.2.1 and tensorflow 1 python 3.5 and and you, you just have a look at this and and i have explained how, how you can run the code and any any doubt you can comment below okay so uh, let's it's taking quite a time let's stop oh, okay it's not still iterating so we'll see this so the classes four colors okay so these are humans humans and it's taking okay well, let me stop it not waste your time so you can see you can see by yourself on how you're running and how you're getting so you can see all these humans they have kind of performed a better cluster compared to the pca means even pca is actually good for visualization but if you just want to uh, see a like proper cluster then you can go for tsa 
so you can see here on uh, this these are all the dogs which have gathered here these are all the cats and in between maybe there are some similar images of cats and dogs maybe the network got confused like dogs dogs cats and one interesting thing is here okay so obviously this is pretty cool you can zoom in you can see all the ladies and okay so let me run here so you can see these are the humans and these are the horses but you can see there is some level as humans here what is that and that uh, many cases i notice okay you can see this humans because in this there are humans and horses both so maybe network got confused yeah even in this you can see and you know the dis distance between uh, this uh, some of the the images which are lying in between they will have both horses and humans that's why this they are in between this so yeah that's all i guess uh, i hope uh, it was helpful for you and obviously uh, the codes will be given below and you please try it out try to generate your own embeddings for your own features not just this, this features which i have used and and you can clearly like understand how your features are how your model is how, how the model is giving the features how concise and clear and separate they are okay so that's all for now and enjoy and good luck